are going to learn the very important chapter environmental management what is the environment surrounding around us is called as environment and what is management doing a plan and implementing it is called as management so we are going to learn the chapter environmental management as we all know that you all are familiar with this chapter since fifth standard and now it is continued till the degree students you all know that population is increasing day by day there is human interference urbanization deforestation etc and these all things are very harmful to the environment or these all things are affecting harm to the environment hence it is necessary to learn and think on this chapter environmental management and students please don't take this chapter for granted i i know it is easy still please don't take it for granted because it contains seven marks in your board exam so we'll go towards the chapter just observe this diagram what can you observe you'll see some living things some non living things environment surrounding around us is called as environment aplya azu bazu sa parisar manje paryavaran in environment there are two types of factors or two types of components which are the non living things and living things non living things is also called as abiotic factors and living things are called as biotic factors baka aplya parisara madhe aplyala kai nirju vastu adalta ani kai sajiv vastu adalta आणि ते ते एकमेकांवर इंटरडिपेंडंट असतात बघा हे नॉन लिव्हिंग थिंग्स आणि लिव्हिंग थिंग्स काय असतात इंटरडिपेंडंट अँड द इंटरॅक्शन बिटवीन दे फॉर्म्स अँड इकोसिस्टीम आपल्या आजूबाजूचा परिसर म्हणजे पर्यावरण सराउंडिंग अराउंड अस इज कॉल्ड एज एनवायरमेंट इन एनवायरमेंट देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फॅक्टर्स नॉन लिव्हिंग थिंग्स अँड लिव्हिंग थिंग्स ऑर अबायोटिक फॅक्टर्स अँड बायोटिक फॅक्टर्स अँड द इंटरॅक्शन बिटवीन अबायोटिक and biotic factor forms an ecosystem ecosystem kishi form hote the interaction between a biotic factor and biotic factor forms an ecosystem now this ecosystem this term was coined by ag tansky in 1935 ecology what is meant by ecology the branch of science which deals with the study of ecosystem is called as ecology in ecosystem we are going to learn this few uh, points food chain food web and profit level with the help of this diagram of the food chain students just observe this diagram it is a food chain listen with the help of sunlight plants produce their own food and this process is called as photosynthesis these plants is eaten by a grasshopper this grass grasshopper is eaten by frog this frog is eaten by snake this snake is eaten by a form of eagle and this eagle after the death of the eagle the decomposers like bacteria and fungi decomposes the dead body which is converted into the nutrients which are found in the soil and with the help of that nutrients again new plants are grown and this same chain is continued आता बघा फूड चेन हे काय आहे सूर्य आपल्या सगळ्यांना माहिती आहे बघा सूर्यप्रकाशाच्या साह्याने वनस्पती त्यांचे अन्न स्वतः तयार करतात आणि त्या प्रोसेसला आपण काय म्हणतो फोटोसिंथेसिस आता ते प्लांट्स वर कोण डिपेंड असतात ग्रासुकर म्हणजे त्या प्लांट्सवर कोण खातं ग्रासुकर त्या ग्रासुकरला फ्रॉग फ्रॉगला स्नेक स्नेकला ऑकर इगल इगल ची डेथ झाल्यानंतर म्हणजे
plants produces their own food hence they are called as producer munmi to pirile these plants are eaten by grasshopper hence they are called as primary consumer this grasshopper is eaten by a frog hence they are called as secondary consumer this frog is eaten by a snake hence it is called as tertiary consumer this snake is eaten by hawk or eagle hence it is called as top or apex consumers and bacteria and fungi decomposes the apex consumer hence they are called as decomposers now we will see trophic level each step of the food chain is a trophic level now listen how plants they are called as producers and it is first trophic level grasshopper they are primary consumer and hence it is second trophic level frog it is secondary consumer and it is third trophic level snake it is tertiary consumer and it is fourth trophic level hawk and eagle they are top or apex consumer and it is fifth trophic level and bacteria and fungi they are decomposers and it is sixth trophic level now we will learn about the food web when two or many food chains combine together food web is formed ja vedes दोन किंवा दोन पेक्षा अधिक अन्न साखळ्या एकत्र येतात त्यावेळेस फूड वेब फॉर्म होते आता याच्यात जर आपल्याला एक्झाम्पल पाहिजे असेल तर प्लांट्स प्लांट्स आपण करू शकतो आणखी रॅबिट आणि हे रॅबिट परत इगल बघा ही एक पुढचे आणि ही दुसरी पुढचे वेन टू ऑर मोर देन टू पुढचे कंबाईन टुगेदर फूड वेब इज फॉर्म हे इतके पॉईंट पाहिले आपण आता लक्ष द्या आपण आपल्या पूर्ण एन्व्हायरमेंटल एन्व्हायरमेंटल मॅनेजमेंट या पूर्ण चॅप्टरमध्ये हे पाच पॉईंट पाहणार आहोत कुठले इकोसिस्टीम अ रिव्ह्यू एन्व्हायरमेंट अँड इकोसिस्टीम एन्व्हायरमेंटल कन्झर्वेशन एन्व्हायरमेंटल मॅनेजमेंट बायोडायव्हर्सिटी हॉटस्पॉट हे सगळे पॉईंट आपण ह्या चॅप्टरमध्ये पाहणार आहोत फक्त एक लक्षात ठेवा एन्व्हायरमेंट environment consists of what is meant by environment surrounding around us two components abiotic factors and biotic factors and interaction between them is called as ecosystem students we will learn the first point of this chapter ecosystem a review see what is recall the definition of ecosystem what is meant by ecosystem interaction between abiotic factors and biotic factors forms an ecosystem students every organism or every factor plays very important role in the ecosystem plants are called as producers or plants are producers of the ecosystem after that there are some herbivorous animals like deer goat sheep etc which depends on feeds on a producers after that there are some carnivorous animals like lion tiger etc which feeds on the herbivorous animals and after the death of the carnivorous animals the decomposers which are present in our environment decomposes the dead body of carnivorous animals and hence or thus they clean the environment so the always remember this point that existence of human being is depend on the balanced ecosystem existence of human being is depend on balanced ecosystem sir human manje sir human existence nahi to kiwa sir balanced ecosystem rahi tar human existence aplyala prithvi var disal sir hi ecosystem imbalance ali tar tyacha parinam direct humans var hoy students now we will see the chart of ecosystem ecosystem the interaction between abiotic factors and biotic factors forms an ecosystem it means that these are the two factors of ecosystem which are the abiotic factors and biotic factors now we will see about abiotic factors abiotic factors consist of two types of factors which are the physical factors and chemical factors now which are the examples of physical factors air water vapor minerals soil sunlight etc these are the examples of physical factors now we will see the chemical factors nutrients and minerals which are further classified into inorganic substances and organic 
organic substances the substances which are obtained from living organism are called as organic substances or compounds and the substances which are not obtained from the living organism are called as inorganic substances we will see the examples of inorganic substances which are they hydrogen oxygen calcium etc and we will see the examples of organic compounds which are they proteins fats carbohydrates etc these all were the sub types of abiotic factors now we will look biotic factors biotic factors is also called as living factors there are two types of biotic factors or they are classified into two types which are they autotrophic and heterotrophic what is meant by autotrophic the organism which produce their own food are called as autotrophic and the organism which depends on the other organism for their food are called as heterotrophic so we will see autotrophic plants which are called as producers because they produce their own food hence they are called as producers it means that autotrophic what is the example producers which are plants now we will see the heterotrophic it means that the organism which depends on the other organism for their food which are classified into consumers and decomposers in consumer which is the example of consumers animals animals are the examples of consumers which are further classified into primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer after that we will see decomposers why they are called as decomposers because they decomposes the dead body of the apex consumer and what is the example of decomposers bacteria or fungi we will see this chart once again of the ecosystem ecosystem uh, biotic factors and biotic factors interaction between them forms ecosystem we will see a uh, biotic factors which are classified into physical factors and chemical factors in physical factors which are the examples of physical factors air water water vapor minerals soil sunlight etc and chemical factors are classified into nutrients and minerals which are further classified in inorganic substances and organic substances which are the examples of organic substances hydrogen oxygen and calcium etc and which are the examples of organic compounds proteins fats carbohydrates etc now we will see biotic factors biotic factors consist of autotrophic and heterotrophic what is mean by autotrophic the organism which produce their own food are called as autotrophic autotrophic and uh, organisms and what is mean by heterotrophic the organism which depends on other organism for their food is called as heterotrophic so we will see autotrophic producers which are the producers plants why plants because plants produce their own food heterotrophic means organism which depend on other organism for their food consumers and decomposers which are the consumers animals which are further classified into primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer also this primary consumer feeds or depends upon producers or plants this secondary consumer feeds on primary consumer and this tertiary consumer feeds on secondary consumer after that decomposers which are the examples of decomposers bacteria and fungi why they are called as decomposers because they decomposes the dead body of the apex consumer and that dead body is converted into the nutrients which are found in the soil this process is called as decomposition and it is done by the decomposers like bacteria and fungi thanks